Facebook, YouTube, how are y'all doing? I was going through the videos on YouTube and I couldn't find anything really that I wanted to put forth an opinion on or make a video about. But then somebody sent me an article and it had to do with gun control. Now this is a subject that I hadn't really thought about. I believe I made one or maybe one or two videos in the past about the subject and I've gotten some feedback both positive and negative on the subject and that's the reason why I make these videos uh, to begin with is if a person watches a video and the subject on a video is not in, in, in uh, retrospect to the beliefs of the person watching the video to begin with then they can make a video or a private message or whatever it may be we can get the ball rolling we can get a debate going so I'm always up for a debate so any feedback negative or positive like I always say is always welcome and I'll respond to it as best I can and uh, I was given this article by, by somebody and uh, it had to do with Rosie O'Donnell now Rosie O'Donnell is somebody I have no respect for whatsoever fat loudmouth bitch liberal as far as I'm concerned and I'll say that to her face I don't care I hate liberals, I hate Democrats, and uh, anybody who's opposed to the United States Constitution and the American way of life. I believe the United States Constitution is not a document that needs to be rewritten just because it's 2012. I believe the Constitution still holds forth the laws of the land for today. Just, just, because, it's a, just because the uh, original document is done a long time ago I still think the same strength should be given it today anyway Rosie O'Donnell was she was up there leading the fight leading the campaign for gun control nobody needs a gun unless they're police or military nobody needs a gun no private citizen of the United States of America needs a gun or they should face mandatory jail time well I was mad enough to begin with after reading this article I think this damn bitch don't know what the hell she's talking about and then the same friend sent me another article same the same bitch was involved Rosie O'Donnell and it said that even though she was opposed to Americans private citizens having guns her bodyguard and why this bitch needs a bodyguard to begin with I have no idea her bodyguard uh, put forth the documentation in the paperwork to put in a carry a, a, a private carry license so she could protect Rosie O'Donnell and she had no problem with this so basically what she's saying people is that she can be protected by a handgun because she is who she is and to me she's nobody important to begin with but her way of thinking is that she can be protected but we can't we cannot hold a weapon in, or a firearm in our home or on our person to protect ourselves and our, fa our family our loved ones this is complete complete ignorance this is what I'm basically talking about left-wingers Democrats people that cannot stand the United States Constitution people that want to suck away our rights as American citizens citizens natural born citizens of the United States of America that are giving rights the second they are born and people if we continue this trend of backing down or let, laying down our giving up our rights and our freedoms slowly but surely they're going to be taken away from us people November is coming get your voters card get all that get your, all your voter information squared away and get ready to vote these people out of office in November put in people that will conserve and appreciate the American way of life the United States Constitution the rights that we have and the freedoms we are blessed with every morning I wake up and at one point or another be in the shower on the way to work clocking or whatever I say God thank you for letting me be born in the greatest country on the face of the earth thank you for letting me have these rights and these freedoms these liberties to be able to fight and serve serve for my country is an honor don't let our don't let our rights and our liberties our freedoms be taken away fight fight stand up take take back our country people we have the right to protect what is ours don't let these liberals say otherwise don't let them take away our weapons people November's coming get ready well that's all I have to say right now I just wanted to throw out a video real quick hope you are having a good night I'll talk to you all later it's our country time to take it back
God bless you. God bless America.